Alrighty, here we are. I posted a picture a while back of this Tostada egg thing, and people asked for uh, more instructions. I, it's it's kind of, this may seem kind of trivially dumb, but I'm just going to do it because people asked. So, uh, it's really just an egg on a Tostada, but whatever. Yeah, so there, there's the stuff I'm going to use. I'm going to try and do this while holding my phone in one hand. Um, let's get the tostada going. Or at least the slightly browned tortilla. Um, you can put it down dry, but I feel like a little butter or oil helps to make it a little more brown and crispy. Uh, grill's probably a little too hot, but that's what you get for dawdling. Uh, it's getting all ready for the video. I'm just going to try and do this in one continuous shot. So, yeah, ideally I think this would be a little less hot. I don't really want it to puff up like that and start to turn brown immediately. Um, and this, this is not a fancy food, so who cares? Um, Put the rest of the butter for the egg. Pick it up with my greasy fingers because I'm struggling to pick it up with the spatula. I like to push the yolk to the center. Yeah, that's definitely hotter than I wanted. But we'll make do. Get the salt and pepper on there right away. So as I don't forget. Take a peek here. Yeah. That's browning. It's really, that's it though. You cook that thing, you put that thing on top of it. I think this came up in the context of maybe it was the, um, do you bother to get your blackstone going for for uh, one thing. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes I like to deflate it. I think a proper tostada is fried. I don't know. I feel like the egg, I didn't really want it to be all brown and crispy, but sometimes an egg does what it's gonna do. I'm just kind of waiting for the, um, the, the white to be reasonably well set before I flip it. Also, I need to give this enough time on the side too, although it's basically done. So I'm gonna flip the egg now flip the egg, hopefully gently and not break the yolk. It'll all be fine. Now one thing I do like to do sometimes is to add a little extra cheese. So I, sometimes right after I flip the tostada over the first time, I'll sprinkle some cheese on there and let it melt while side B is cooking. I'm going to, I'm going to call it on that. That is good enough for the base. So that goes down on the plate. And of course the egg is entirely up to you. Do you like sunny side up? Do you like over easy, over medium? I know that this has been pretty hot, so I think the egg is done for my liking. Just put it on there. Sorry, I wasn't pointing the, <laughs> wasn't pointing the camera at it. 
And now for the finishing uh, decoration, as it were, um, this fork is clean, I'm trying to keep it clean. Uh, what I like to do is to take some Cholula and I usually inside, I take this inside and I hold it over the sink because this is a little messy, but uh, I'm trying to do it here in one take. So I, I think it looks nice with a couple little streaks on it and then a few more at a different angle. I don't know. I'm no food stylist. That's sloppier than, than usual. Um, and then the reason I brought the clean fork is because it's an easy way to sprinkle the cotija on top. I always sprinkle things from a great height. Oh, and uh, if you want, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Throw something on there. Whoops. Some avocado, some chopped brisket slice of ham, whatever works for you. Let's just check here and see how my egg came out. Ah, excellent. I like the dippy yolk. Okay, so uh, that's it. Tostada egg, uh, five minute breakfast on the Blackstone. I'm going to go eat mine now.